So in today's video, we're going to look at how much I made on my channel, what videos performed really well, and a bunch of other cool bits of information that you may have never thought about uh, from a standpoint of a content creator. So let's look, we're doing this for 2023. So as you can see, for the year, I got about 175,000 views, um, 14.6 thousand uh, watch hours. Uh, it was 834 subscribers. And then my top content for this period, uh, the first one was uh, Problem Solved. This is my Maffetone method um, where I talk about cardiac drift. That actually brought in about 17,000 views, which was kind of cool. Um, next one, this was kind of surprising to me. I, I didn't think that this would actually even move the needle, but you know, I'm giving up the Maffetone method and you should too. So I was kind of a little bit kind of down and out when I did this video. I was a little frustrated trying to figure out what I could do to, to just change things up. But uh, apparently a number of people, um, you guys may not watch every single video, but uh, a lot of people kind of came to me months later saying, I, Dave, I thought you had stopped using the Maffetone method. And so uh, they may have not seen any of the other videos that I'd posted out later on in the year. But uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still using it. Um, the next one, this one was done uh, last year as well as the first one. Um, and it had 6,000 views. Sorry, the previous one had um, 12,000 views. The next one was uh, 6,000. This one literally just started to take off this year. It really started to find its, uh, find its legs, so to speak. And then this is kind of surprising. The, the one year of my math training, um, that's still going. That brought in about 6,000 views as well. Number five was, uh, was the whole, um, this stops 95% of runners from using the Maffetone method. And, you know, I talk about different pillars of training using the Maffetone method, and that brought in about 5,000 views. Uh, six was, uh, do this to run faster and no, it's not the Maffetone method. And, you know, I kind of tried to, to branch out a little bit and show you those other things that you can use to, to get faster. And that was uh, from April. Now, this one was from 2021, number seven, is how to connect the Polar H10 to my Coros Apex. And this one here, it's been steady. It's been, I don't know, a lot of, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but anyways, it's, uh, it's found an audience apparently. Uh, number eight was how to start running uh, when you're overweight. And this was a video I did a number of years ago. Uh, I've just kind of changed the, uh, made it to say 2024. It's, this is kind of like that evergreen video that just kind of continues to be there year after year. People uh, watch it, uh, 4,000 uh, people watched it last year. The impressions, there was 1.8 million impressions and impressions are uh, every time that YouTube shows uh, a thumbnail of one of my videos along the sidebar or uh, at the end of a video where it's uh, suggested videos, things like that. This is where you, um, this is where the impressions, so every impression uh, counts, obviously. Now, based on the impressions is the click-through rate, the likelihood of people clicking on the video based on what they think of the thumbnail and what they think of the title. And that will determine the click-through rate. And I ended up at 6.1. I'm, I'm trying to keep getting that, keep getting better and better at that. Making thumbnails and titles for videos for you guys to watch, it's, it's always a challenge because not everybody watches every video and um, you have to really be creative, but yet you also want to deliver on what the thumbnail and the video are saying. So I, I'm always trying my best uh, to do that. And it's, it's hard to pull the packaging together. So it's just something I'm trying to get better at. And then the average view duration was five minutes since uh, people found my videos. Uh, a lot of people, 51% came from the browse. So this is just YouTube recommending just videos and it appears on, like, on, on the feed. 20% um, of you found it through search, so you were searching for something that brought you in, uh, or in suggested, so suggested videos is that kind of at the end of the video. Uh, YouTube has all these like little 
video, little thumbnails of videos on the screen to say, hey, you know, this would be something that you may be interested in. So I always try to, I'm always striving to get better um, so that way YouTube suggests more of the videos. But again, this whole thing is it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's not easy to figure it all out. Um, then there's external uh, websites that suggest my videos. Um, YouTube search, um, top, su um, top suggested uh, videos, which is, uh, which is interesting. And then there's, uh, there's playlists as well. So that's always fascinating. Uh, also, uh, it also tells me what, uh, other channel, what other channels that my audience watches. So, you know, I can see that you guys watch Kafuzi and Floris and, you know, this messy happy, Ben is running. And so it kind of breaks it all down as to um, who, who you guys uh, watch as well. And it's funny because I watch all these guys too. Not all the time, but, uh, but I do. And then over here, this kind of gives me an idea as to when my audience is online. So the darker the purple, the more of my audience is on during that time. Uh, and then over on the other side here, it talks about what other, um, what my audience is also watching, like what other videos. And that gives me inspiration as to, you know, what I could, what my next video could be about that you may be interested in. So sometimes I take um, um, inspiration from other videos uh, outside of my niche, outside of running. And I, and I look and like, well, would that be interesting for somebody in, in, in one of my audience? And so that's why I try to, try to make it fun I try to make it interesting and I use other videos that I've seen as inspiration and that's you know something that I I use to try to be better uh, it talks about uh, my watch time for my subscribers and for people who have not subscribed so about basically 34% of you are subscribed um, who are w watching my videos and about 66% who have not subscribed so if you haven't subscribed already just go ahead and <laughs> click and subscribe. Um, and then it uh, talks about um, who my audience is, like what gender. And apparently I'm 94% male and about 6% uh, female. I'm always trying to get um, uh, the female numbers up. And that's always hard because uh, there's a lot of things in my video that may not be of interest to a female. And uh, so I, it's, it's just, it's hard to kind of figure this stuff out. <laughs> Depending on uh, which uh, areas of the world everyone's coming from, about 33% uh, come from the US, 12% uh, from the UK, 7% from Canada, 3% uh, from uh, Australia, and 2% from Germany. Um, obviously there's more in there, but that's my, uh, that's my, my top five. For my channel, with, with all of those views that I had, I made $1,570 for the year. But uh, December uh, brought in the most. Uh, November brought in the second most. They're pr they were pretty much the same. Uh, October was uh, you know $121. September was $122. Uh, and then the summer kind of got a, it was like a little bit quieter. And then uh, the early spring, right down here. And again, it all depends on what videos I release that do really well, because some of them get more views. And when you get more views, then you know YouTube pays me more. I get basically 55% of the ad revenue and they take 45%. And I'm, I'll explain to you that in a, in a minute. It's not treated all equal. So uh, if, here, we'll do this. If um, this may break it down a little bit easier for you to understand. So over here, um, we have playback based on CPM. That's clicks per million. So basically for every thousand views, this is what um, YouTube charges the advertisers. And I don't know who the advertisers are, right? They decide on who, what ads appear. And then it's based on what videos you watch and uh, like your experience it's different for everybody so nobody gets served like the same ads or anything like that and anyways it's all done automatically so some videos um depending on the months right so uh, advertisers have more money to spend in the second sorry in the fourth quarter of the year so anything like september october november december get much higher 
uh, CPM. Uh, so some months like November had $23, uh, December had 24, October 21, August was 20, uh, 22. And it also depends on the type of video that you make also depends on how much advertisers are willing to spend. So this is all new to me. Like this is just the way it works apparently. Now I added what's known as RPM because this is basically what I get, um, what I get paid at the end of the day. So, uh, so for every thousand views, uh, you know, you guys watch the ads on the videos. I, um, in November, I got, you know, it was up to 1063, December was 1052, October 990, uh, and, and so on, right? So you can kind of see some months are better than others. And so right now, I mean, uh, January, well, advertisers have less money, so their, their CPM is like $16. And, you know, for videos that I've produced so far, which is one video, uh, right now it's $6 that they're paying. So it's it's very, very different. For, so for 2023, on the on average, um, this is what I got. It was about $8.61 for every thousand views. Um, so of the 173,000 views, I got 861. That's how that kind of played out. This video here I, uh, that I made last year, um, it brought in uh, $152. My CPM was 21. Uh, this YouTube premium, so for you guys who have signed up for YouTube premium that don't get any ads, um, YouTube uh, gives me a portion of that. Uh, it's like the 55 and the 45 that I just mentioned. That's how that plays out. So like I said, some videos get more. Um, I'm giving up the Mapstone method. You should too. Got $75. Um, I'm, cra <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, uh, hiking with a, or with a weighted, uh, weighted vest, that one there, I did a couple of years ago, that brought in $43. So every video is very different. Um, there was another one, right? My Maffetone results after one year, that brought in $41 for the year. So every video that I do brings in, you know, certain amount of money. Um, and it also uh, depends on, you know, how many views I get on that particular video and how much advertisers or advert, you know, have on that video brings in certain amounts of money. So I'm not in control of any of this kind of stuff, but uh, that's just kind of how that works. And then how I made money uh, was uh, people watching the ads, right? That brought in 1,100, sorry, 1,417 uh, uh, memberships. You know, for you guys who have signed up for uh, YouTube memberships, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, it's really nice um, for the support. Uh, I got $151 for the year, and then YouTube Shorts, well, they don't bring in anything. <laughs> Not unless you're really big into that and they're getting millions of views. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'd, if I'd go down the, the Shorts route. I, I do from time to time, but anyways, it's not easy. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into the editing process. I try to make it fun and I do my best to tell you guys just like, subscribe, watch to the end because the, the longer that you guys watch, the more uh, watch time accumulates for that video, the more YouTube says, hey, I'm going to push this out to more people. So for all of you that have watched my videos, I appreciate that more than you know. And uh, the, the average view duration, which I find very fascinating if you want to know, um, we can go to advanced mode here. And I think this is important. Uh, this is one of those metris, matrixes that is important for me to pay attention to is because if people are clicking off the video and they don't find it interesting, then I know that I need to change some things in the particular video. So my average view percentage is about 35% of you are watching to the end. Uh, some videos, um, more people watch to the end. So, I mean, like this one here, th you know, this video, this stops 95% of runners from running faster. That one was 47%. So basically half of the audience is still watching by the end. And that's amazing. 
Um, but then some longer videos um, don't do so well. Sometimes it's down to like, uh, like this one here, I mean, it's only 20%, uh, 35%, 37%. Uh, 39%. So every video is different and I do my best to make it as much fun as possible. So yeah, there's some things that I need to perfect. I need to get better at. I need to get more to the point. Sometimes the videos are scripted a little bit more to keep me on track. Sometimes they're not and I do a little bit more talking. Um, I like to do a lot of like the vlogs kind of just ad, ad hoc, just as I go pick up the camera and I'm going to go. And I have some points I want to talk about while I'm out for that run. Sometimes I'm just taking you along for the journey and then I talk to you about some of the things that I've been learning. Sometimes it's about the process, about giving up sugar for 30 days. That was like a process. Uh, that was really hard actually to make. Um, and then running for 30 days and running for 60 days and running for 90 days, those are challenging videos because they take a long time to film and then edit so a lot of that kind of goes into it so anyways i like to be honest and open and and share all of this with you guys so that way you understand what the videos like what goes into the videos right and and what i see on the other end because there's this information that i need to absorb so that way i can make better videos that you guys will watch to the end as opposed to clicking on and then not watching to the end. And for all of you, and I know there's quite a few of you that do, that watch to the end, that means a lot to me. And I really, really, really appreciate that. You know, so the more that you do that, the more that you like the video, sometimes I, I mention it in the video, sometimes I don't mention it in the video. It just it all depends. I'm experimenting, right? That's what I try to do. So you really do mean a lot to me and I appreciate all your comments. The comments, I love the comments, guys. The comments are amazing. It really brings it kind of full circle for me because I'm, a, I'm an extrovert. I love people and I love to be able to share my experiences with running, with, with uh, nutrition, with just being a better person and what it takes to sometimes get out of the the hole that I'm in, sometimes life throws things my way and it's not fun. I put it all into the videos, hoping and, and, and doing what I can to get it to the people who may need it, who may be struggling, who may be just looking for a way to improve in their running. So like I always say, get out and run. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Oh, and call somebody you love. I'm sure they would appreciate it.